na politika kasi natapos na ang lahat. Laban lang. Okay, ganon. So, bago ko simulan ang diskusyon na ito, I want to say good morning to everybody. This is again, I'm a senior eternal voice, your YouTube content creator, and small YouTuber, and your social media influencer. This is all about academic information that we might learn in our schools or in different libraries, whether it is a private libraries or a public libraries, or if we have references in our home, for example, we have our mini library, then we can refer also to this topic, physics. Okay, so we need to start now. This is a new topic for everybody. Actually, I discussed already the concept and principles yesterday because I'll just stop for a while because I kept on reading about political issues in my social media accounts and I was very, very, you know, straightforward in my comments and it looks like I'm very, very happy in doing that. Okay, so let's start now. Our timer starts now. So it's actually not a word problem, but it's really a schematic diagram problem calculation. But actually, you can also convert this to a statement. For example, if I will say, uh, Jun Jun is sitting on the left portion of the lever. And then another, uh, for example, Carlito is sitting in the opposite side of the lever of a CISO equipment, something like that. Okay, now our topic really, guys, is more on really torque as I discussed uh, yesterday. So it's going to be the application already. Okay, it's going to be like that. But in this case, you don't have to convert it into statement. This is only uh, uh, the way of how to solve it, something like that. And we have also the, the full room in the center. I think it's going to be the masterpiece of mechanical engineers. Mechanical engineering study because it's more on uh, you know mechanical engineering talking about a simple machine or a simple equipment something like that right it's gonna be a seesaw like that and we have the the fulcrum is in the center meaning to say it will be acting as a pivot p i v o t pivot in which it's gonna be rotating upward like that something going down something like that and it will adjust the rotation motion of your simple machine. It's going to be like that, okay? I'm not really that expert about this because this is not uh, chemical engineering related, but we should, you should know also to this because this is very basic in our day-to-day -day life, okay? Such things like this. Okay, now, for example, if you put a, a mass of, let us say, 50 kilograms to the left, and you have a mass of 100 kilograms to the, to the right, then normally it will go like this because the weight is the weights are not balanced. Okay, the, the forces, or shall we say, the masses inputted in our lever arm are not balanced. So this is our lever arm, this one. Lever arm, lever arm. It's gonna be the L, okay? Or shall we say the length? But in here, since this is a machine, we normally refer this as a lever. L-E-V-E-R or lever arm and our center will be the, the pivot in general term but this is more technically termed as the fulcrum okay fulcrum the center okay it's gonna be like that okay now in this kind of problem it should be uh, smart enough to really determine the, the mechanical advantage the efficiency of our machine something like that our work output, our work input, something like that, so that we can compute really what's gonna be the forces involved when in, 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 we do this, like the blah blah blah, so on. So, uh, there are a lot of things to discuss, right? But you know, we, we make this <laughs> straightforward. Okay, now, so the formula of the mechanical advantage, by the way, guys, I did not include the mechanical advantage yesterday in my discussion, right? Okay, but I need to. Okay, I need to discuss a little bit of mechanical advantage. Okay, so I'm going to wait for a while. Okay, okay. Nunga pala ba akong hitan? Welcome to my channel. If you love science, this is the appropriate glance for you. Okay, like the pure sciences now, the sun physics. Let's forget a little bit with uh, chemistry. Let's go to physics. Oh, I'm wearing orange, right? Dalalda. Ang kakaloka. 
But I don't know how to iron these clues that much. My mother is very good in ironing my clues. See? It looks like crumpled. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Okay, since I don't have my mother now here, I'll be the one to do the ironing. <laughs> like that. Okay, something like that. But before going farther, we need to introduce the six types of simple machines. Right? We have the emphasis. Uh, first, okay, I think it's gonna be six. Okay, six uh, types of simple machines. Okay, uh, actually, uh, this is more on, you know, mechanical engineering, but it's also basic, not the complex mechanical engineering. We have the pulley, like that, right? We have the wheel and axle, okay, like that. We have, now what else? The lever, like that. Number four, we have the, you know, pulley, wheel and axle, the lever, the scroll, right? The scroll, and then the inclined plane, okay? Inclined plane, okay, something like that. Okay, what is that? What is another one? I forgot. This is my memorization. With an axle, pulley, lever, scroll, inclined plane, something like that. Another one, there's another one I forgot. It's up to you to think there's another one. Okay? This is six types of simple machines. Okay, the wait, it's gonna the wedge. Wow, my brain cells are working. Wedge. Okay, W E D G E. For example, if you use an axe, axe or let's say a hand pick, for example, then if you try to to uh, have a force to to hit the the tree, the bark of the tree. The bark of the tree, tama ba yon? The skin of the tree, like that. The tree, if you cut the tree, you will, you know, what is the one? You will use the axe like that. That is part of a wedge. And then the, the part of the tree, it will be, you know, it will be hit and there's a little bit space there after you hit using an axe. That will form a wedge like that and you will put that there. Okay? Something like that, okay? Okay, get the point of Palanga. So these are the six types of machines, simple machines. Okay, enumeration. We have the pulley, well and axle, lever, scroll, inclined plane, and wedge. These six types of simple machines are normally present in your stationary equipment. Okay, and with rotating equipment. So there's gonna be two types of equipment: rotating equipment and stationary equipment. The stationary equipment is are just on the certain position fixed, installed there without any movement at all. Something like that. Meaning, it's not moving to forward, backward like that. It's not movable, but it will do and then deliver their functions properly. So we need to say stagnant. Stagnant means stationary, not moving. Okay, but the stationary, they will move something like that. Oh, that's what no the rotating will move something like that okay or undergo motion get the point so rotating equipment and the stationary equipment not stationary huh? stationary okay, because the stationary is another, there's another meaning for that i think so in english okay but stationary is what i mean correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> okay stationary and stationary are not the same but correct me also, I'm not an English, uh, I'm not an English majoring professional, okay? Maybe I was wrong. I am wrong. Okay? Like that. Ana lang ta. Okay? Let's admit mistakes. Okay? Because mistakes is part of growing up. Okay? Like that. So, it's gonna be pulley, well and axle, lever, scroll, incline plate, and wedge. Right? So, pasok na sa tong brain cells, ang six types of simple machines. Okay. Akong papasok. Let's erase this. Okay. Now go back to the main topic. Okay. Mechanical advantage is gonna be actually this is gonna be the load over the effort. But this kind of definition is very general in effect. Right? Mechanical advantage is supposed to the load over the effort. What's this? It looks like general. And we need to simplify this mathematically. Right? We need to simplify this algebraically. So how can we do this? So if we mean by loads, it's going to be the, let's say, 
the load usually be the your output something like that and then the effort with the, your initial part, initial uh, delivery of your force diba <laughs> sakto ba it's going to be let's say work output divided by work input okay to those who are taking up bs uh, physics you are really master to this right but i think this is so work output based on my memory now Work output and work input. This is what I remember. You can correct me also. Okay? And then we have also the... Uh, uh, wait. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, okay, so force output divided by force input. Okay? And this is also, I think, so uh, in terms of the lever arm or the distances, it's going to be... Uh, wait. L... L in and L out or L1 or L2 so the M and your force will be the reverse okay because the input will be in the numerator but the work and the force your output will be in the numerator but here in the length or in the lever arm in, in computing the mechanical advantage you have to put that in the numerator that in or the initial length something like that okay so now, if you try to multiply this with uh, something like 100%, it will become your efficiency. Okay, efficiency, percentage efficiency of your machine. It's gonna be work output divided by work input times 100%. Uh, this is how we can say, oh, my machine really is 100% efficient, but that's not, that's not possible because machine will not deliver 100% efficiency. It's going to be 98. There must be a tolerance or what, uh, accuracy of plus and minus, uh, error, margin of error, something like that. I call this one. I forgot the term also in, you know, in math. Uh, percentage uh, inaccuracy, something like that, okay? Plus and minus, blah, 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 so on. So there's no perfect, just like... Uh, you know, just for example, we have uh, vote counting machines in the election before that they keep on saying that there's a uh, cheating because the machines are causing the delay. But actually, it's acceptable because not all machines are perfect efficient. Okay, let's let's be scientific in our brain cells that not all machines will function 100%. Okay, just like in our home, we have the computers. Could you expect the babala sa So it. We should atong open minded ng atong mga brain cells that it's gonna be really the normal, you know, the normal characteristic of a machine or equipment. It it, it will not deliver one hundred percent really. Okay, in fact, it will not function if it will not be operated by a person. Okay, person, human being. It will never be functioning because the people will operate the manual controls or for example if it is digital the person also will need to have the remote control to let that function, something like that. Or manual, you need to push the button, the red and white, to operate this kind of motor pump. So it's gonna be like that. So all will be driven by human factors, okay? But it doesn't mean that there's cheating, okay? You get the point. So we should be scientific in our observations, in our environment. We will not be carried by our emotions, mga palangga. Emotions will kill us, really. If you are overpowered by your emotions, it will kill us and will lead us to desperate, okay? Meaning hopelessness. It's gonna, it's gonna be not like that, okay? So we need to balance the factors in our environment. So things like that, just like a seesaw, we need to balance, right? Negative, positive. So we need to say check and balance in everything that we do in different places to place. We should be. We should not be, you know, parang ano ba, medyo mababaw, yung maliit lang yung understanding to a certain, uh, you know, to a certain philosophy which shallow, so we should avoid that because, because that's the purpose of why we are studying, okay, to evaluate things, what is really mababaw, what is really average, and what is really key, and what is not substantial, and what is really substantial, okay, yung ano ba, may laman, yung mga ano natin, mga sinasabi natin because we can also differentiate what is a joke and what is serious and we can put ourselves we, 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 we know how to draw the line what is a joke and what is a serious something like that, okay? and then we need to, you know, basta, you know what I mean 
Di ba? Ganun dapat itong mga neurons. Okay, in our brain cells. Ganun. Okay. Now, we have the mechanical advantage. Now, we have this formulas also. And then, we can compute this uh, F2, F1, 2 by 2, 2 if we have the equation. Okay? Something like that. And then, our equation for the torque, as I discussed yesterday, mga palangga ko, it's gonna be, nakakaloka, di ba? It's gonna be torque. Or torque is uh, designated as a tau. The formula is tau. Like so, you know, there's a lot of Greek symbols in 17th century, 18th century, and 19th century used by our uh, philosophers, mathematicians, chemists, physicists, sociologists, or name it, all kinds of scientists like that, or evolutionists, okay? These are the people who loves to invent, who loves to discover uh, things around them and establish, you know, a theory uh, a scientific research that we can use now in our daily daily lives until now up to this present situation okay so this is gonna be tau greek symbol actually there are a lot we have also the alpha rho beta sigma theta phi so these are really the greek symbols used in our discussions in math or in science you got a point something like that now we this is a torque okay so a torque is a rotational motion okay rotational motion that involves moment of inertia wow <laughs> moment of inertia moment of inertia okay rotational force okay ganon so it's gonna be mga palangga kumitag force times the distance covered so our distance here is gonna be l or r it depends on the situation but it could never be the radius the r the small letter r or only is a designation that would not mean radius okay because r expressed most of the times in math or science as a radius but in here in a special topic of torque it's gonna be still the distance like that distance or the length covered it's gonna be like that, okay? So this is it, fancy. Okay, now rotational force. So it's gonna be like that. So in another version that I researched, okay, last last month, because prior to do the chemistry vloggings also, I've already read uh, some of the physics coverage, something like that, okay? So it's gonna be like, <clears throat> the torque is also defined as a moment of inertia times the angular acceleration angular acceleration meaning there's really a rotational motion something like that when we see oh it's gonna be a torque okay now take note also mga palangga the torque is the same unit with the work newton matter now if you encounter the problem solving that is gonna be not using the <clears throat> the newton directly in the forces involved in our simple machines like this this is a seesaw and this is under lever, one type of simple machine, right? So, for example, we put force newton, then the change got to, let's say, pound, then you need, you need to convert the pound into newton because it will not agree to the unit of the torque, which is newton matter. Or, for example, if the unit given in the problem solving is grams and kilograms, then you need to convert that into newton. Okay, now how can you do that? You can do that by considering the acceleration due to gravity. You get the point still. Because for example, Jun Jun in the left portion of the lever arm in the sea cell, then we are, I have also my friend here, let's say, Manulito is sitting on the opposite side of the lever arm. Both of us has its own weight. Okay? Weight. Apart from the mass, and the weight signifies acceleration due to gravity. Weight is equal to mass and acceleration due to gravity. And weight equals to force. And our unit will become automatically as Newton. So be careful because sometimes the problem will give uh, 40 kilograms. Jun Jun weighs 40 kilograms. And then the problem is So you need to convert this to, new, to Newton first before substituting in the equation. So you will be wrong if you want to convert that to Newton. Okay? Because Jun Jun and Manulito has weight. And gravity because we are directed downward in the you know in the surface of the land so all of us have gravity okay you get the point without gravity all of us will be floating in the outer space 
with the point. We have a very strong gravity because without gravity, all of us will be uh, floating in the outer space and nobody will <laughs> be staying in the planet Earth. Kind of. Okay, going back to the discussion for this, and it's gonna be also okay. You know, the, the scroll and the wedge have also different mechanical advantage formula. Survey and scroll, so di ba nakai scroll, for example, di ba most of the, you know, the, the laptops, the mobile phones that we have now in our room or whatever, okay, so there's gonna be a scroll. S C R E W, and you can just imagine the scroll. It has uh, the the thread H R E A D the thread, okay. And then this thread, this is gonna be a, a distance with the, for one thread over the other, like a groove, like that. So there's a distance for that. And if you put that in our work equipment, that's undergo a rotational motion. This will also perform a torque. Something like that. This scroll. By remove the scroll, remove the scroll and put back the scroll. If you try to to insert the battery or whatever, you dismantle your you say uh, gadgets. There's a scroll, small scroll. The scroll has its own uh, distance of the thread. Okay, this that's represented as letter P. Ganon, and then the, the radius. Okay, and then the radius mga palangga, na po na siya radius, uh, yung tumoy-tumoy, yung circular. Diba? The scroll has a circular head. A very small circular head. There is also a radius there, like that. Now, if you try to compute the torque of the scroll, because due to your curiosity based on physics, then I can compute also the mechanical advantage of a scroll. Because a scroll is one type of an example of our simple machine. Okay, we can make an advantage of a scroll. Ano di ba? So two pi times l over p. The p is the distance of the thread. Okay, and the l will be our radius. So take note also that instead of putting the r, they make it like l. So don't be confused. Only just understand na because the letters would only be mean designation only. Designation hypothetically, hypothetical meaning not really that specific to a particular formula. Okay, it could be changed. Sometimes you use Z, Y. As long as you know that that is represented for the land, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, as long as you understand. Okay, that this is gonna be the radius here. I can use any letters. Okay, but. Sometimes, when you are an instructor also, you will go to the letters that are, you know, with justice. Meaning, it has really a meaning. Because if that is the case, masamutag ka ng mga estudyante, or during our memorization, maraglayo ka siya gamit. For example, if radius, and then you put that as an L, the first letter of radius is an R, right? So during memorization, maraglisutag ka may hindi siya match. So it's better to use also the first letter of the, of the word. For me, only half. Okay, disclaimer, only subjective, not really that uh, to be followed. In my own case, because I've been practicing this for so many years, like, like that, during uh, you know examinations that has acronyms, answers, acronym. I mean, for example, enumerate one, two, three, four. Enumerate ten, ten ways how to prevent fire occurrence. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And if you don't know how to put acronyms. Uh, it will lead you to very lengthy time to keep on thinking. But if you put the, the first letter of the first sentence of the particular, right? For example, you have the sentence, you have the subject and the predicate, right? You cannot have a sentence without the predicate and without a uh, subject. So it's not a complete sentence without the subject and the predicate. So assuming you know English well, right? For example, Okay, perfect. You know the sentencing, whatever. Okay, now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19. Uh, uh, you know, extract the first letter of the sentence so that you can easily memorize that. This will be also helpful during memorization in different examinations all over the world. Acronyms are very, very important. Okay, like that. Okay, in here also, be careful. Ha! When I get an advantage for the scroll. Na siya super na computation ang scroll. Ang wedge na po siya iyaha. May kala advantage of the wedge is equals to the thickness over the length. 
The thickness, you know that already what is thickness all about. Like this, huh? thickness, okay? You know what I mean? This is very, very common in math, in geometry, right? If we deal with geometrical shapes or various shapes, we know already what is thickness all about, okay? And be careful also if we deal with a pipe, you know, pipe. Because the pipe also have different, uh, you know, uh, categories. Because there's a lot of schedule, schedule there. For example, schedule 2, schedule 3, schedule 4. And there is also, uh, you know, uh, each diameter. Uh, inside diameter, outside diameter, inside radius, outside radius. That is no longer general. You need to be, you know, you need to be clever enough to be particular if it is an inside radius, outside radius, inside diameter, and outside diameter. Ganun ganun siya mga ano, pagtuki. So that we can have uh, a very good scores in our math, you know, uh, questions in the future. You can answer that very well, right? Okay, something like that. Okay, going back for this. It's gonna be like a set of balado. Pasis ako masulti, guys. Okay, or, or very slow. Okay. Though I speak so fast, or slow, or average. Okay, so something like that is gonna be torque. Going back to torque. Oh my gosh, my goodness. Torque is equal para sa work. The more general term for this is work. Because work has newton meter, and torque also is a unit of newton meter. Okay? Like that. For example, I would say, calculate the work of June June when the CISO moves upward, blah blah blah, with the distance of blah blah blah. You can use also the. Okay? You can use also the formula of torque. So, we need to say, we should not be literal. Okay, because you are dealing with the topic of the torque, you need to weigh the, the word torque so that you can compute for what is being asked in the problem. That is too very, very, uh, you know, shallow to, sorry, <laughs> to consider. You need, you need to, you know, you need to be open and wide your brain cells that there's going to be uh, the same meaning. For example, if I have, I have to say uh, solubility and then I have concentration. So it would be just the same because the unit of solubility sometimes would be equal to concentration. So things like this. But sometimes most of our discussions in chemistry or whatever, you know, we, there's a word really that specifies the concentration, blah, 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 so and so. Maybe we will wait for that word to arrive in order we can answer. Take note of some units. It's going to be like that. The same thing. It, it will only trick you out for that. Trick meaning T R I C K, meaning it will trap you if you will keep on thinking and waiting for the exact terminology. Okay? Because sometimes in our classroom instruction, also, the, the terms are the common, very common, usually used in Dilligili Alatul. <laughs> every minute, every second, something like that. But you know, during phase examination in the future, you will cha change that with the same meaning. So these are the most, uh, you know, errors, okay, of some examiners in the future. That's why we need to be, uh, we need to be observant, okay, and we need to read, 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 read all the time. You spend your life in the in the library, something like that. If you want to become you know, dean's lister, or if you will, you will become uh, top ten in your particular course, and if you want to become, you know. A scholar, or academic scholar, then you have to do that. You need to reduce the, the time of your Mercada's friends like that. Because in the future, you will benefit that. You will harvest good <laughs> uh, output later on for that. Okay? It's gonna be like that. Okay? So your friends will be there all the time, but you need to, what I mean, you need to find time really to go to the library, okay, to explore more, something like that. Though, not all is like this, no, because it depends on the individual. But you need to do that for your own future. Shut up. Okay? Like that. Okay. Okay, now. So how can we compute for this? This is a seesaw simple machine. The children love seesaw equipment. Our children, for example, sons and daughters, if you go to the children's playground, they love to play, right? So in that, you can associate your concepts in physics. For example, if I am the, the father, something like that, or let's say I am the, the brother of the children, then I have a present study in physics, and I can put into practice what I've learned in the school, right? You can put that into actual scenario. Oh, okay, this, my son developing a torque like that. How much force? So you need to be scientific also, okay? Because if you, if you are scientific, you can also save your life. 
internet opinion, 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 opinion palagi. Okay, because opinion are not factual. It is only based on what you believe. Okay? That's the point. Your opinion may be wrong, your opinion may be right. But to be scientific is always factual. You get the point? It's going to be math and science factual. Because it's based on theory and experimental data analysis by our scientists before. Okay? You get the point? Then on. Okay. Now, we have a tour. So I will say, force times distance mga kalaba kung hita. Now we have having here the length. Our length here will be subdivided into two with the length of one and length two. Ganon. Now, this is force. I will say, uh, force times, let's say, two. Force two to length two or distance two. Ganon, di ba? Okay, put that in a close and open parenthesis. Okay, times, ganon, ganon, di ba? So, mga nga siya, force 2, L2, this will be your equation 1, or torque 1, ganon. Okay, now, we have torque 2, ganon. Okay, we will say force, or F1, times the distance, times L1. This will be your torque 2, ganon. Okay, so, 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 but how can we compute for the net torque for this? Hala, manahuna ka, no? So, let's do Let's do first the, the first option. But we need to do follow first the theory before anything else. Because theory will never lie. Your solution and computation sometimes may be wrong, sometimes correct. But the theory is the basis of all. The theory, theory, the concept. Because your solution will not be enough. If you lose an answer and you think it is very, very good answers and then it is being solved properly, but matingala ka, nililigyan mo siya sakto. Because you are not meeting the correct theory with that particular topic, something like that, okay? I really observe that so many times when I solve problems, okay? I follow the, how it's being solved, the pattern, the sequencing, how it's being solved. But in the last portion, it will not yield the same answer with, uh, you know, what is being asked because the theory doesn't need in using the kind of solution, even though I use the correct equations. Take note for this also. So many problems of this like this also. Okay? You get the point? Be careful. Now, I will say, okay, so this is equation by equation. Sometimes I will say, uh, I'm going to go, torque, okay, the total torque will be the torque 1 plus torque 2, right? Which is also correct to say, right? In mathematics, you have to add to determine the total torque. And then, if you speak about the net torque, it's another story. Okay, net because when you speak about the net, just like our salary, it is deductible to the expenses or whatever. Like it could be the, you have the cross, and after that, after all the deductions, you have the net. So that's the meaning of the net. I mean, deducted value, something like that, or the final value after all the expenses or whatever. But in, in terms of physics and science, the same story, but this is the net for people say, for uh, minus meaning the differences of the torque. So torque 2, let's say, torque 2 minus torque 1. Ganon. So this is principle 1, concept 2. Now concept 2 will be the torque average. The torque average is not the same because torque 1 plus torque 2 divided by 2. This is averaging, which is normally applied in the criteria of judging, in computations, in making grades for your students to get the cumulative percentile rank. You have to add like that, and you add all the you know the criteria divided by how many criteria something like that. This will be averaging. Be careful for the terminology use net, average, and the total. Now we are here for the net. Meaning, suppose we say torque two minus torque one. Then in here we cannot say where is the torque two and where is the torque one. So you will you will imagine that this is a torque two. Okay, let's say ganon. Okay, now, since maglipog magkaasa ang torque 2 or torque 1, because we will compute first which among them having a higher value. You get the point? Before designating the torque 2 and the torque 1, you see, you will find first more who is having a greater value because torque 2 minus much so torque 2 minus torque 1, it's, it's always, uh, it means that the answer will be positive. Something like that. Then you have to find out which among them is greater. Okay. Now, we cannot use this option. So we need to use the theoretical options of how to solve it. So it's going to be like this. This is a system. So it applies the law of equilibrium. You know, equilibrium meaning balancing of the forces, balancing of the masses, or balancing of any quantity. 
concept is involved here. Our components involved here are force, mass, acceleration due to gravity, the length. It's only like that because we don't have the angle of inclinations here. We don't have angle, okay? The point is not given the problem. So it's going to be able to follow the, the equilibrium principle, just like in chemistry. Or the state principle or the law of continuity in science. So if we mean about uh, law of continuity and, and we say uh, dynamic equilibrium or in equilibrium, we need to establish balance. So the only way to state this theory, we're gonna say torque one is equal to torque two. Because we establish balance from the point one to point two so that they can establish the balancing of the seesaw motion, like that. Okay, and this is true really in almost all uh, computations in math, we need to establish this as our basis of calculation. Something like that. But not all the time, but we need to do this sometimes because especially if there are so many given or data that you cannot understand sometimes, right? So many given. And maglibo ka sa ipaso. You get the point? If you are if you are really an engineering student, you can also understand what I mean. There are a lot of data, data, blah, chuk, chuk, da, 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 da. maglibo ka kisa unang ipaso. Then we need to follow the theory na talaga siya. Okay? Uh, the point to one will be equal to point two. And in this case, the, the principle of time is disregarded. Time. Meaning, time is constant in here to establish an equilibrium, okay, between Jun Jun and Manoleto sitting in the sea. So, Okay, the principle of law of continuity and equilibrium, point one equal to point two equal to point three, is meaning to say dependent on time. We are not dependent on the time in there. Okay, irregardless of time duration. Take note of this, put this in your brain cells. Now, if the time will be here, no, you cannot say torque one is supposed to torque two. For example, Jun Jun uh, staying in the river at two seconds. Like that. And Manolito also in the opposite of having a four seconds sitting on the river. You can never use that. It, torque one is equal to torque two because the time is involved there. And then your equation will be varying through that, you know, through that conditions. Your assumptions will change prior to your computation. You know what? Okay? So in here, easy. You see, torque one is equal to torque two. You know what? Then, Okay, torque 1 is equal to torque 2. Oh, diba? Mga pala kang hitan. Now, torque 1 is equal to this one, F2, L2, diba? Oh, F1, L1. So, F1, L1. And then, torque 2, F2, L2. Diba? Pagulito kayo ninyo? Nga, nga, substitution, Russia, direct substitution. Uh, F1 is equal to 300 Newton. Okay? And then, L1 will be 6. 6 meters. is equal to the F2, which is, you don't know, unknown. F2 unknown times L2 3 meter. Then solve for F2. Then you can compute for the F2 because your F2 will be used to compute to your mechanical advantage. It's equal to F2 over F1. Ganun-ganun. Okay. So, pila lang siya mga palangga kong hitag. Di ba? Ano lang siya? Uh, simple math. Okay? It's a piyungan pa. Pwede ako siya masolve. Nagagara sa mga kuya Junjun. No, because this is only, you know, elementary math. So that's a way to troubleshoot an extra the concept. Okay, because it will be changed later on. So it will be turning into a little bit of complex, a little bit of complex, until it's too much difficult to solve. That's a time maglaba ng inong ulo, something like that. But in here, we will start with the basic. Okay, or the simplest way of solving. It's gonna be like that. Okay, pretty mga mga students. Okay, like that. Mabana siya mga palangga. <laughs> yup. So 300 times ano siya? Times 6 is equal to divided by 3. Then we have 600. Our force 2 is 600 Newton. We can put Newton directly because our given here are all Newton, not kilogram, pound, whatever. And if not, convert that one. Okay, so mechanical advantage in A is equal to the force output divided by force input. The force output mo is 600 Newton. Okay, and our force input mo is 300 Newton. So, cancel the two zeros directly. 
you don't need to use the calculator. The law of math, if the same zeros in the numerator and the, and the bottom, you have to cancel it out immediately without question. Okay, so it's gonna be 63. 60 divided by 3 is gonna be 2. This is also like that's a practice, also the, the, short, the short way how to solve. But I involve getting zeros, guys. The lead regression is manipulate. Okay, point. 8 million divided by 7 million. Cancel all the zero. I divide the on 8 and 7. Muna na siya answer. Ayun na pagkapikapoy sa calculator. Okay? You get the point. So this technique will be used also in solving uh, problems in math. Okay, madugay man ka. You get the point. Ano siya. Okay, 2. 2 siya. So yung mechanical advantage is 2. Ganon. So percentage efficiency is gonna be multiplied by 100 percent something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? You get the point. Mga palang kakong hitag. Now we, through this uh, competition with mechanical advantage, we can have the story behind this. Story behind this. Okay, you can say, if the mechanical advantage is less than one, okay, meaning to say, your force output is less than your force input. So this is not the theory. We need this because our answer sometimes will not follow the theory, so you are wrong. Sige lang kagsug-sug lang, may kagsug-sug na yung muna kuha nga force di, di siya bumatch sa theory. Mas eksakto pa rin yung solusyon. Di ba? Makarelate mo ano sa akin. So, mas eksakto mo na kong solusyon. Ano sa'yo magyap na akong answer? Because you are not meeting the theory. Okay? So, mechanical advantage is then one. Meaning to say, your force output is less than. Okay? The force input. Okay? And then, if the mechanical advantage is okay like that, Get the point. Nakakuha mo mga palangga. Okay. Less than anak man ang araw nyo sa elementary math. I think it's gonna be grade 3 or grade 4 in elementary level. Our teacher told us greater than, lesser than, equal to. Right? We are very young age. We are still a kid in school. Right? We teach this uh, as early as possible. The math, the basic math. No, greater than. So less than ang siya bali. Ang yung keyboard mo, mo point dito sa MA. Keyboard meaning the, the point. <laughs> Kung sinilis ka ng the pointing arrow ba sa kanya. Ano greater than. May suko explain. And then MA is katong yung buka. If greater than mo ato dito sa yung word. So MA mo ni greater than. If mechanical friend is greater than 1. So we need to say, okay, your force output is always greater than your force input. Okay, you get, you get the point mga palang akong hitad. Now, if your mechanical advantage will be equal to 1, meaning to say your force output is equal to your force input. So, meaning if you have a mechanical advantage of 1, the seesaw will not move. Because it's already balanced. Again, we have if you have a mechanical advantage of 1, since the force output is equal to force input, that is perfectly balanced. So now the seesaw will not move. Only like this. Get the point. So it's gonna be here somewhere in the, the first option. The mechanical advantage is than one, or the mechanical advantage is greater than one. This is usually the case because in the seesaw, in the children's playground, not all the time the children have the same weight, weight and mass. That when they play, right? So they have they don't have the same masses or the same weight when they, when they go to the seesaw. So so the case is not really that true or practical for the third option in which mechanical advantage is equal to one in the, the season will not be moving they are not having the same weight okay though sometimes but really not practical okay you get the point and then if you really do to follow this one you will adjust <laughs> put the child here with the same way so it's not also you know it's not good to do that it will, it will be a waste of time <laughs> so we need to understand na lang talaga sa theory. Ganun siya. Di ba? Ganun. Now, now, all machines have mechanical advantage that could relate to the efficiency and the work output of different equipment. All equipments, no exemptions. We get the point. Whether it's stationary or rotating or something like that. Okay? We get the point. This is the basics of, I think, the, the mechanical engineering. Okay? And uh, what else? Automotive. <laughs> Automotive, something like that. Get the point? Uh, any questions so far? Trying hard, Keiko, no? Okay. You get the point? 
Okay, because you know this is not really my, my masterpiece. Okay, I'm a chemical engineer. Sometimes I cannot uh, explain very well with regards to mechanical point of views. Since we have this common subjects in all engineering, so that's the time we can really, you know, we can really associate our uh, discussion for that. Okay, naman may mga common subjects. Okay, general subjects for all engineering students. Okay, so that's why makasabot ni. Sama na mga strength of the materials, engineering mechanics, practical electricity, uh, ganganon, diba? uh, CAD, AutoCAD, mga ganganon, drawings, engineering drawings, okay, and all kinds of math, right? So we have similar under general engineering. That's why we can share the same points of view <laughs> regarding this. Okay, you get the point? Not necessarily that if you are like this, you don't know how to explain this because that is far from your, I know, from your specialized, you know, engineering curriculum. All of them have common, uh, you know, subjects, especially in our first year in college level. So that's why. Okay? You get the point, mga palangga kumita, that's all. Any questions so far for this? You can ask me now, like that. If I'm wrong, then you can also... Uh, say that in my comment section so we can issue an errata statement or error statement in my uh, description of my caption in my video, my uploaded videos, okay? We need to be open-minded because there's no perfect, okay? Sometimes we may be wrong, sometimes we may be correct, but, but normally we do the right thing because this is our <laughs> field, something like whatever. Okay, the point mga panakakunitan, you can comment down below in the comment section. Okay, and then you can also subscribe to my YT channel if you want. And then you can click the notification bell for some numerous updates of I am a singer, a trainer of voice. Thank you so much, mga pananga kong hita. Thank you so much for watching. Sir, here, Lapos, in the Nikantal. Okay, ma, thank you so much for sparing your time with me. You cannot read it sometimes, but you can, you can only share to this to your sons and daughters that have subjects for sex, for today, or, you know, whatever. Okay, thank you so much. Can you information on time because politics will be better update for certain, you know, issue and bye-bye. <laughs> so, no need. We don't need to, you know, to, to lag politics. Because different polarized ideas. Okay, you never met, right? So, siya magaling, ako magaling. So, hindi, hindi matatapos yung laban. You get the point. Ganon. But in math and science, tapos ang laban. Okay, because all of us will agree in the same formula, the same equation, the same theory, the same concepts, the same principles. Okay? Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. God bless everybody. Mapalanda. Nakakalor ka? Uy, bye-bye na. Diba?